Today let's talk about myopia and hypermetropia. These two are very common eye defect. But before this defect, we must have clear idea how our eye works while watching near object and while watching distant object. This is eyeball. If the ray of light is coming from distant object, they can be considered to be parallel with each other. And when convex lens of eye converge it, then the object is focused on the retina and will be able to see that object clearly. In the same way, while watching near object, the ray of light coming from the near object is diverging ray, which when conversed, then focused on the retina, near object is also focused on the retina, will be able to see that object clearly. This way, our eye works very interestingly. Near object is also focused on the retina and distant object is also focused on the retina. The reason behind this is the function of ciliary muscle. The ciliary muscle which surrounds our eye contracts and relaxes according to the requirement. While watching distant object, it relaxes and it makes the convex lens of eye thinner. And thin convex lens has less converging capacity and when with less angle the light rays are converged then the object can be focused on the retina. But in case of near object ciliary muscle contracts and the convex lens of eye becomes thick and this thick lens has greater power and because of this reason the diverging ray can also be focused on the retina with greater angle. This is the automatic mechanism of our eye and this is called accommodation of our eye. Eye has capacity to focus both the distant object and near object on the retina changing its thickness and this capacity of eye is called accommodation of eye. Now if our eye cannot do so then we will have defect maybe myopia or hypermetropia. Let's talk about myopia. What is myopia? An eye defect in which near objects can be seen clearly but distant objects cannot be seen clearly is called myopia. It can be represented diagrammatically like this. This is eyeball and near objects can be seen clearly. That's why the light ray coming from near object is focused on the retina. And this is not really the defect and that's why I'm representing this in dot line. But real problem is with distant object. The light ray, parallel ray coming from distant object are not focused on the retina because of high power of convex lens of eye. It is focused in front of the retina. The reason is very simple. The convex lens of eye cannot be thin as required to focus the distant object on the retina. Okay, this is our problem. Now, what are the characteristics of myopia? We can say this way. Number one, in this defect, only near objects can be seen clearly, but distant objects cannot be seen clearly. And second one, in this defect, the distant objects are focused in front of the retina. Third one, in this defect, convex lens of eye becomes thicker, focal length becomes shorter, and power will be high. And fourth one, in this defect, eyeball becomes elongated due to which distance between lens and retina increases. It can be understood with the help of a diagram. This is not a normal eyeball. This is myopic eyeball in which the distance between lens and retina is shown to be increased. And because of this reason, we have myopia. Now, let's talk about the solution. A concave lens should be used in the spectacle to correct the eye defect myopia. A concave lens. Now how do we do this? This is the problem. Distant objects are not focused on the retina. They are focused in front of the retina. Now how can we suit this problem with concave lens? When a concave lens is used in front of the eye in a spectacle, then the ray of light coming parallel to each other from distant object are first diverged a little and then only it reaches to the convex lens of eye and this diverse ray are when converged by the convex lens of eye with the same angle then object can be focused on the retina okay, this way now distant object can also be seen clearly the reason behind this is very simple the parallel ray is not entering into the convex lens of eye the parallel rays are a little diverged and then uh, the convex lens of eye converges it with the same angle but 
they are diverse ray that's why can be focused behind the previous converging point okay it can be written this way also very nicely if you are asked why concave lens is used you can say in short sightedness or myopia distant objects are focused in front of retina as shown in the diagram when concave lens is used in spectacles then parallel ray coming from the distant objects are first diverged then the convex lens of eye converges these rays so the focusing point moves backward and image forms on the retina therefore a concave lens is used to correct short sightedness this is about the myopia now let's talk about hypermetropia what is it an eye defect in which only distant objects can be seen clearly but near objects cannot be seen clearly is called hypermetropia it can be represented by diagram this is eyeball distant objects are focused on the retina this is not the problem that's why i'm showing it with dot lines but problem is with near object near objects are not focused on the retina because power of lens is less so it is focused behind the retina this is diagrammatic representation of hypermetropia the major problem is the convex lens of eye is thin and it cannot be thick according to the requirement we need thick lens to see near object clearly now let's talk about the characteristic of hypermetropia what are the characteristic of hypermetropia in this defect distant objects can be seen clearly but near objects cannot be seen clearly in this defect near objects are focused behind the retina and in this defect convex lens of eye becomes thin power will be less and focal length will be long and in this defect eyeball will be bulged due to which the distance between lens and retina decreases it can be understood with the help of an eyeball this is hypermetropia in hypermetropic eye eyeball is bulged and the distance between lens and retina decreases now the question is how to solve this problem a convex lens should be used in the spectacle to correct the eye defect hypermetropia this is the problem near objects are not focused on the retina they are focused behind the retina now we have to focus near object on the retina when a convex lens is used then the diverging ray of light which are coming from the near object is first converged by the convex lens of spectacle and then only it reaches to the convex lens of eye and then convex lens of eye converges it and focus on the retina in the defect near object is focused behind the retina because only one lens was involved but in this case when a convex lens is used in a spectacle not only the convex lens of eye the convex lens of a spectacle also converges the ray of light and that's why the point focusing point moves forward and the image falls on the retina this way we'll be able to see the near object also clear if you are asked why convex lens is used to solve the problem of hypermetropia then you can say this way in long sightedness or hypermetropia near objects are focused behind the retina as shown in the diagram first diagram represents that when convex lens is used in spectacles then diverging rays coming from the near objects are first converged a little by the convex lens of a spectacle and then again the convex lens of eye converges these rays so focusing point moves forward and image forms on the retina therefore a convex lens is used to correct long sightedness okay i told you about myopia and hypermetropia clearly and how to suit this problem now we'll meet in some another class